good morning, welcome to the vlog and welcome to Soho Farmhouse. We've just woken up. So we came yesterday, Wednesday, we got here about midday. And our plan was, and we hadn't done this before, but it was actually a perfect plan because you can't check in here until 4 p.m. So we drove in our gym stuff, got here midday, went straight to the gym and uh, did a little arm session. I could actually feel it today, which is like, feel it in my back. Oh, I was like, I'm gonna do, choose one arm exercise and do 50 reps, but with really light weights. And I had these like tiny three or five kilogram um, dumbbells and I just was not being able to even get them over my head. So that feels good today. But yeah, the gym was quiet and it was nice. Try and do stuff here as much when it's not that busy. So this is our first time here being here on a Wednesday and doing the Wednesday to Friday slot and it's so quiet and it even meant that we got our room, I think like two or three hours before it was due to be ready, which was really good. So yeah, after we did the bike tour around, then we went for, we had some lunch in the main barn, sat outside by a fire, cause they have like a courtyard area with a big open fire, sat there, blankets. We had like a half baked cookie with vanilla ice cream to share. Had a bath, watched Love Island. And then we got room service and I got the cheesiest, glossiest mac and cheese. Um, and we bought some tidbits for the room, so like biscuits and chocolate and stuff. Had a mint tea and then went to bed and watched Love Island. And I actually got a really good sleep. We've got today and we've got tomorrow. So obviously today we're waking up in the cabin and we're going to sleep in the cabin. So it'll be quite cabin centric if that's okay with you. I've said it before, like I know it's cringe, like how much I love Soho House, but really like it's just an incredible brand and particularly farmhouse. I really haven't stayed in that many other houses. Like I've done Paris. Yeah, I don't think I've done any of the other Europe ones. So I thought I would take you along with me today and tomorrow a little bit, we'll see. Um, for our Soho Farmhouse stay. And it's kind of like a reading week, semi-inspired by Bill Gates reading week. So we're gonna be reading. I'm like staying off social media. I only pick up my phone for like content and stuff, baths, walks, good food. So come along with us for a little retreat. It's only 9am, but we're planning on having like a big breakfast, not that much lunch, so we can maximise in activities. I'm thinking tennis. Hi! Tiny Shetland. So peaceful this morning. Tennis court booked for half 11. Banana bread en route to cabin. Morning. It is so quiet, it's so lovely. The goats are getting breakfast, that's why they're going nuts. Got some beehives on the left.
bombs away from the books. Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Tala Tennis. Adidas cap. Tala activewear. Tala activewear top on. And Tala leggings as well. And then my Lululemon trainers, which I love so much. We just played a game and I lost 10-7. We made our own game. We're going to do that again. Yeah, round two. And hopefully I win this one because I have been playing better. But then him. Active track enabled. Let's try this. Don't lose me. Oh, what does that mean? No. Uh, equipment fault. Uh, resume play. Re rematch the point. What is it? Right, we're calling that a wrap. I lost. But I didn't deserve to. Full fit check. Andy said I look like tennis Barbie, which I'll take. I think we should just go chill back in the room now. Tennis done. Back to the room. I think I did a good job there. I feel I definitely got sweat down my back. And I feel a bit flushed in my cheeks. So I do feel like I've done a good job. That big cabin is where I came with insanity. And we're just over there. So we're cabin 30 and it's just through the trees over there. And I thought we'd just go on a little cycle because it's so nice and quiet. It's so different to like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which to be fair is when I always used to come because it was half price for under 27s, which I don't have anymore. So, yeah, experiencing it full price, but quiet. Hope you can hear me over the wind. Trying something new with my microphone. So I hope that works. Whew, but it is the most beautiful day. <laughs> 1 p.m. and it's my third outfit change into my Adenola sweat set. But, which, by the way, washed absolutely fine. I don't know how everyone's washing theirs, but mine was great. I put it on a delicate um, inside out, and I think I did it on a cold wash, or maybe like a woolen thing, and it was really good. So I think I might just make another tea. It's one o'clock, and got some banana bread that needs to be eaten. This is kind of our plan, because like we wanted to maximize cabin time, and obviously today is carrying it like a handbag. Today is the day where we get to wake up and go to sleep here. So, um, yeah, we just want cabin time right now. Here's my banana bread from breakfast. I knew I wouldn't be able to eat the eggs royale and the banana bread, but that's kind of why I did it, so that we could just spend lunch in here. And we also have some other bits um, that we picked up from Waitrose before we came here. show you my haul and just some things I feel like they get really right at the cabins like the very first time I came here I just think they have a really remarkable guest experience so the bits we got so I've just made a tea PG tips I put a bit of sugar in there as well I just fancied it and then I've got my banana bread from breakfast it's so good and then we've also got popcorn Sweet and salty mixed. These are his, but salt and vinegar crisps. And then chocolate, we've got lint, touch of sea salt. That's gone down a lot. McVitie's are biscuits. We've got some lint, the little balls, and then some dairy bars. Um, but we're gonna be completely sorted for lunch because there's stuff that you can pay for in the room, but they also have loads of free stuff. So I've got, this is like my favorite cheese when I come here. It's Lincolnshire Poacher Wedge cheddar style cheese so have this on the fresh bread and i can make like a cheese toasty with that 
um, probably in the oven with the grill. I'll try and work out how to do the grill. And then there's even like a cookie jar, which one left. I think that would be mine. See, I'm just gonna chill for a bit. Andy's on the veranda at the moment reading a book. And there's a new book that I wanna buy off Kindle. I can't remember what it's called, but it's something to do with stoicism. And I have been reading quite a lot of fiction recently, so I just wanted to go back to something that's a little bit more real lifey. <laughs> until I massage. Yeah, that's right. Um, so I might get some dinner. The ducks are looking at me because I keep feeding them tidbits of bread. No, not now. <coughs> wow, that was loud. I could have dropped straight right over the water now. But yeah, I got massaged in a couple of hours. Might get some dinner. I'm, just, I'm not really that hungry. I've been grazing. I've had a bit of cheese, a bit of bread, some popcorn. Still full from breakfast, really, and my banana bread. I'll see what we'll do, but I just put the fire on drawn some of the curtains and the sun is setting over the hill slash it's getting a bit cloudy and got my evening massage it's been a very chilled afternoon read content chatted and probably more of the same this evening very slow very chilled as i've got massage I thought I'd just take off my makeup just so I can go in really fresh and I remembered I brought a couple of masks the road peptide glaze I am really enjoying what it is stays on for hours and I actually think it really moisturizes my lips it looks so nice in pictures and video so house so good at providing toiletries and I always take two in particular the little deodorant the Marvin's toothpaste they're so good for travel and I always get through them and then um, I kind of discovered some Soho skin products through the minis in the room my favorite and it makes my skin look so good like facial in a bottle the 24 7 treatment I opened one up here but I realized I actually had one in my little orange bag because I love it so much so I'm gonna do a quick cleanse this and or actually potentially the mask in the middle. I'll show you what masks I bought. The MZ Skin Vitamin Infused Miso Face Mask. I got this from when I went to the MZ Clinic. Or the 1-1 Skin Rose Gold Eye Masks. The cleanser I'm using, I think this is Cetaphil, but it was for ages, the Cow Shed Face Cleanser. Oh, taking off my makeup is my favorite thing in the world. There we go. I'm going to leave this on for 20 minutes now. Whilst having a meditation on calm and having some hydration, because honestly, ever since my ectopic nearly four months ago, my stomach hasn't felt right still. But you know, it's women's health, so everyone just expects you to crack on, really. Very plump. Whilst I let that soak in, it looks like there's a really pretty pink sky. Yeah, it's pink. We had a pink morning and now I've got a pink evening. You see the pink on my face from the sky? Oh my God. That is so pretty. I am wrapped up and ready to go to the massage. It is freezing.
just had a great, great oil massage and I think they did use my favorite oil. Just, I smell divine right now and I feel oily but calm. Please may I order room service for cabin 30? Just the neat burger please with some ketchup and mayonnaise. morning welcome back to farmhouse it's friday at about 9am and we've been up for a couple of hours reading i had a tea and i've just ordered room service breakfast for both of us um we obviously have to check out today so we're trying to maximize cabin time right now and then i think we check out at midday and we're gonna do the gym again maybe legs day and sauna and then probably grab a bite of lunch either italian or penyan i'm not sure yet and then head home um so i wanted to do like an official outro now and say i hope you enjoyed the vlog but there are some other visual bits to come but i just didn't want to speak for the rest of the day pretty much um i've got breakfast coming shortly get, get changed pack and then we can start our day properly so i hope you enjoyed the vlog and thank you very much for watching oh here's breakfast scrap what I just said because a bit of change of plan and it's very exciting. I called up reception. I was just feeling a bit lucky and I was just like, could we extend our stay in any accommodation capacity possible? It's a Friday night tonight, so I was like, might be fully booked, might not be able to change a rental car, but we are staying another night and we're going to a garden room which I've actually never stayed in before. So I'm really excited to see that. But yeah, I am gonna like I don't think I'm gonna vlog, I'm not sure, but I'll show you like little bits here and there, but ultimately just want to like check out and chill out. But a four day stay is really long. So I'm looking forward to it though. Like we've been really giddy and excited. So we just did a quick lap around the whole farm just to like get rid of some excitement steam. Be nice because like I haven't been to Pen Yen yet. Haven't been to the Hay Barn. Um, haven't done a sauna yet. Would like to do at least another gym session. Um, we were even thinking of 5K around the farm. Um, and they've been really nice with like a late checkout and early check-in so our next room's actually ready but we are going to check out of here at 1pm so we've got another two hours um, of just chilling here and then we'll check into the new place so a small vlog extension and a first look at the garden rooms mm -hmm. 